But when I was a kid, I read this story, The Great God Pan, which was about bringing somebody back to life. Um, and uh, that story sort of stayed with me my whole life. And uh, I thought to myself, I'd like to sort of write something about that someday. And then I wrote Joyland, which was about carnivals, and I started to think about the relationship between uh, carnies and, uh, you know, the revival circuit. And I'd always wanted to write a story about the revival circuit and about somebody who was a healer on that circuit. Because when I grew up, you know, the, uh, Oral Roberts was on TV and he'd say, uh, come on up and be healed. And he'd pull uh, tumors out of people and say, get up and walk. And people would get up and walk. And uh, you knew it was a little bit on the sketchy side there, but it was really interesting to me. And I thought, what if somebody could really do that, if there was a way to do that? So at some point, and I can never remember exactly where, because all the stories seem almost like dreams to me once they're done. It kind of fades away the whole process of creation. But I decided that I wanted to try to combine a lot of those elements into a story. And also I wanted to bring in a little bit of that Frankenstein idea, because, you know, as a kid, probably you remember this, the idea of uh, applying electricity to the dead person, you know, and uh, Igor would say, Master, it's alive, it's alive. So I wanted to try to bring all that in. He's a good-hearted man. Yeah. Uh, he grows up in a, a big family that was sort of modeled on the families that I grew up with. The ones that I saw where there was a mom and dad in the house and uh, a lot of kids and everybody would brawl in after school, you know, and grab uh, peanut butter cookies or there'd be a cake on the table or something like that. And we might watch American Bandstand or we might just go out and play in the woods. But I loved that. I, I loved being welcomed into families where there was a, a real complete balanced family. We had a nice family, but there was no dad in the picture. There was just my brother and, and my mother and me. So um, I kind of looked at that and I really wanted to create a family environment that would feel like they were welcoming people in because if I have any kind of a, a strategy as a writer of suspense or scary stories, it's that we ought to start in the daylight where everybody feels welcome and you come on in and uh, I'll, it's kind of like a warm place. And then little by little I want to lead you into the dark uh, when you're too deep into the story to get away. It's a little sadistic but it's kind of fun too.